Hi guys! In this video we'll be looking at gravitational field strength, acceleration due to gravity, and we'll finish with a summary. In this video we're going to define something called gravitational field strength, which is a really useful concept if we want to do quantitative problems involving gravity. If an object with mass enters a gravitational field, it will experience a gravitational force. So here we have an apple in a gravitational field, and because it has a certain mass, it's going to experience a gravitational force. The force that an object in a gravitational field experiences at a particular point is proportional to that object's mass. The force F at a certain point is proportional to the mass of the object. We can also say that the force at a point is equal to a constant of proportionality, which we're going to call K, times the mass of the object. In the same gravitational field, an object with a greater mass will experience a greater force than an object with a smaller mass. So here we have two objects in the same gravitational field. The apple has a smaller mass and this weight on the right has a larger mass. And because force is proportional to mass, this means that the force on the apple is smaller than the force on the weight. Different gravitational fields exert different amounts of force on objects with the same mass. So now we have two apples of the same mass. One is in a weak gravitational field and the other is in a strong gravitational field. The apple in the weaker field is going to experience a weaker force and the apple in the stronger field will experience a stronger force. We use this to define a quantity called the gravitational field strength. The gravitational field strength at a point in a gravitational field is the force per unit mass on a small mass at that point due to the field. So we have a small mass m in a gravitational field and it's going to experience a force on it. And we define the gravitational field strength as being the force divided by the mass. So we can now use this definition to form an equation for gravitational field strength, which we call g. The gravitational field strength g has units of newtons per kilogram and is equal to the force on a mass F, which is measured in newtons, divided by the mass. The value of the gravitational field strength on Earth can usually be taken as constant. On Earth, we say that the value of G is equal to 9.81 newtons per kilogram. For example, we can find the gravitational field strength at a point if we know that a 3,000 kilogram asteroid experiences a force of 20,000 newtons at this point due to a gravitational field. We know that the gravitational field strength G is equal to the force divided by the mass, and therefore G is equal to 20,000 newtons divided by 3,000 kilograms, which gives us a value for G of 6.66 newtons per kilogram, or 6.67 newtons per kilogram to three significant figures. It's important to note that we define gravitational field strength using a small mass. So in order to define the gravitational field strength for a much larger mass, such as the Earth, we have to use a mass that is much smaller than the Earth. And this is to make sure that the mass does not have an effect on the gravitational field of the larger mass. Because remember, every object has its own gravitational field. And unless this gravitational field of the small object is very weak, it might have an effect on the gravitational field of the larger object, which is what we want to investigate. We're now going to think about acceleration in a gravitational field. We can express the force on an object in terms of its acceleration using Newton's second law. Newton's second law states that force on an object is equal to the mass of an object times the acceleration of the object. For example, if we know the mass of this asteroid and its acceleration, we can find the force that's acting on it. So we can use this to look at the acceleration of an object experiencing a gravitational force. If an apple is experiencing a gravitational force Fg, it's going to be accelerating as it falls. We start this process by writing down Newton's second law and our expression for gravitational field strength. So Newton's second law states that force F is equal to mass times acceleration. 
and we know that gravitational field strength g is equal to force divided by mass. Now we need to rearrange Newton's second law to make acceleration the subject. And this gives us that acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. We can then equate our two expressions for force per unit mass. The first one is that force per unit mass is equal to the gravitational field strength g. And therefore we know that acceleration due to gravity is equal to gravitational field strength. So this shows us that the acceleration of an object due to the gravitational force acting on it is equal to the gravitational field strength at its point. So this apple is going to experience a gravitational force on it, Fg, and this causes an acceleration of magnitude equal to the gravitational field strength at that point. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level physics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap goodbye smiley face and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.